but from what I know oh gosh this is not good folks I am going to die this is the end <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm checking out this very, very small ocean liner, the Servia. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on board, and now that I'm on board the ship, I can really get a sense of scale here. This is a very small ocean liner, but that's not a bad thing, because one, it lags less, and two, it's got a lot of interior. I know it's got almost like 100% or so interior just from walking around and checking it out. So, what I'm going to do is actually get it started up, which um, you probably want to do if you want to go sailing anywhere. So, uh, let's go down below and let's check out what it's like in the engineering spaces. Alright, so here we are in the engine room. It's like a two-story tall reciprocating engine, and that looks super cool. And we've got some controls over here, well, just uh, some gauges and whatnot. And we've got coolant pumps. We might want to turn those on. And I guess we can turn the lights on. Now, going into the boiler room, this is where the action is about to happen. As you can see, we've got our boilers, and we can just light them by pressing that button there. Let's go into the other room and do the same thing. Open that up, press that button. Now, if anything were to happen, we can shut the dampers or release the steam, which is important, especially if there's an emergency or something, water's flooding in. You don't want the boilers to explode, so yeah, that would be useful. And going this way, we have the cargo hold which is actually really spacious, so you can fit a lot down here. And the access is just up there. Anyways, gonna seal these doors, and I'm gonna make my way into the engine room to get the uh, ship moving. So, this should be pretty simple, I would assume. Actually, I think I have to do it from the bridge. Yeah, I don't see any controls around here. Maybe over here? Yeah, no, I've definitely got to do it from the uh, bridge. And look at that! They're actually going! That is super cool to see, so... Let me go up to the bridge and, uh, well, get the ship going forward. Here we've got a pretty lavish space. We've got a staircase going up, and this should lead up to, yep, I think this is called the promenade deck, but I'm not sure. And then over here we have the bridge. One great thing about being on a small ship, you're not too far away from, well, anything, so that's always good. And there we go, we should be moving. Yeah, look at that, we are, and it also looks like we have a steam release system, so when it gets up to high pressure, it automatically releases the steam so you can see that white smoke or steam is releasing out of the funnels there and I think that's just the uh, valve that's opening to stop the pressure from building to a point where the boilers actually explode so that is actually really cool now that we're moving this would be a good time to take a look at some of the lavish spaces on board so let's start over here so it looks like we've got this um, atrium I would say you can see we've got a skylight and down there looks like a dining space, so let me go down there and take a look. So sitting down, I could imagine having a meal here and looking out these super nicely decorated portholes. That's actually really awesome to see. And, I mean, everything here is just detailed so well. I mean, look at this stuff. And what's great is because it's a small ship, the use of paint blocks isn't really going to hold back performance a lot. I know on larger ships they can do that, but for smaller ships, not at all. So... It's really awesome to see all of these details. I mean, just look at these panels up here. Really awesome. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. I mean, I probably will be sinking this at night because I haven't done a night sinking in a while. And here we have the galley. We've also got a skylight in here, and I would imagine you could open up those windows there and let some heat out. That's always good. You don't want it to get too warm in here. So we'll close that. Now going out, we have the engine room access. We just came up from there. But what's this way? So in one of these cabins, we've got a sink or a wash basin. We've got a light. We've got two portholes, a bed, and I would imagine some storage. Yeah, some storage underneath. And that is it. Now going forward, oh, here we go. we got some steerage accommodation, I would believe, and some NPCs. Yeah, I put some NPCs on board to make it feel more alive because, you know, with an empty ship, it sort of feels dead and alone. So... It's nice to see some NPCs around, and also, there's a bonus because we can save them if the ship sinks. It will sink, by the way. We'll get to that shortly. But uh, here we have a cargo hatch, so that's the one below, so I can open it up. There we go, and you can drop stuff down from there, and it looks like that goes up to the deck as well. Just forward of here, we've got a hatch that leads down into what I would assume is the cargo hold. Yeah, that would 
be that door forward there. So um, that's always good, so you don't have to jump down through this hatch and break your legs. That's not good. More of the same cabins over here. Nothing too special there. I do know that there's some more lavish cabins up above. So yeah, let's go check those out. So here we are back on, I believe this is the promenade deck. And here we have one of these lavish cabins. We've got some storage and some more storage, a bed and a wash basin, as well as a light and some very, very nice wall panels. Look at that, super awesome. It's great to see all of that detail included in these builds. Here we have another one. And interestingly enough, we have a different wall here. Maybe they couldn't put paint blocks or something there. We'll find out. And over here we have the chief officer's cabin. So that's pretty cool. Right at the front, we've got the cargo hatch leading down into the open space, or well, the sleeping areas for the steerage. And that of course would lead down into the cargo hold. And over here we have a storage closet. And here we have my cabin, the captain's cabin. And as you can see, not much to write home about, but still is a very nice cabin. So over here, we have another cabin, and I see why that other cabin on the other side didn't have paint blocks on the walls, because on this side, it needed paint blocks. So uh, yeah, we get to see this side with paint blocks, and the other side is just regular blocks. So we've got a wash basin, a bed, and some more storage, and a light, of course. But I really like the detailing here. It is awesome to see. And here we have another cabin, and same thing going on with the wall detailing there. And over here we have the main staircase, and right over here we seem to have- Oh, a lounge! Look at that! We've got a painting, a fireplace, we can turn the fireplace on, there we go. And, uh, yeah, really, really awesome detailing, especially with the benches here. That is super cool. Going further aft, we've got this area, we've already seen that area, and I think that should be it. I may be missing a space or two, so let me go down to the engineering spaces and see if I missed anything. Alright, so here we have the engine room. Of course, we've seen this already, but yes, I did miss something, the propeller shaft access, and it is, well, pretty much nothing. I mean, it's just a... A space where the uh, rotating propeller shaft goes through and that would go out towards the propeller all right the Sun is set and we are continuing on our voyage to well I don't know where but we're sailing somewhere and I will admit there is now something in the cargo hold that may go boom so let's go down below and there's an easy way of going down and that's simply just uh, opening up the cargo hold and well breaking our legs going down so uh, I'm just going to close these afterwards, but uh, let me open these up here and I'll show you what it is. Yes, it's a box, but it's more than just a box. You can see I've got a key button and I have a keypad. So, this is a time bomb. Yeah, so there's a bomb on the ship and uh, what I'm going to do is just put in a number. Let's say 50 seconds. That sounds about right. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just turn the key and run. Okay, we've got 50 seconds till the ship explodes, or well, the box explodes, and the ship starts taking on water. So, yeah, let's go this way, and uh, let's close the hatches. Um, that will be very helpful. So, um, yeah, there we are. Let's quickly run up on deck and close that hatch, because if the ship goes down quick, those hatches will let in a lot of water, and um, I'll lock them as well. But for now, everything is fine. So I'm going to go up to the bridge, get a nice view of the outside of the ship, and uh, I will wait. There it is. All right, so that was a massive explosion. Let's go down below and let's take a look at the damage. Um, yeah, that's not good. Oh, that is a lot of water. Okay. So we are taking on water. I'll close that. And I'm going to have to close this as well. There we go. Oh, we've got water coming in here. I am going to release the steam from this boiler because uh, it's flooding. And, uh, oh, this is actually really bad. So I'm going to risk it, leave that one on. And, yeah, we've got water all the way in the engine room now. This is actually not good. We're starting to trim forward as well. So that is not good. We are moving, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to stop the ship. Oh, oh gosh. The deck is already awash. 
This is actually really bad. All right, I've got to stop the ship right now. Here we go. Stop. Oh, no. The end is near. It's happening. The ship is going down very quick. All right, toggle gantry. Lower boat. Here we go. We're lowering away. And there we go. Um, the boat is capsized. This is very bad. The ship is already mostly gone. So, I think, yeah, everyone inside the ship is going to die. Well, this is very unfortunate. I'm going to have to try this again because that was actually a little too quick. All right, I'm back. And you may notice there's a blinking light right down here, which means one thing and one thing only. There's a C4 down there. And uh, it's time to detonate it. So, here we go. All right, so um, there was the explosion. So now, let's go down below and seal those watertight doors. Hey, good news is... Oh, I was about to say, good news is there's no water flooding in. But, there it is. So we're going to close that door there. And we are going to close this one. We don't really need to close that one because, I mean, the water isn't really going to reach this area until the final moments. But, just going to shut them anyway for safety. And let's go up and let's start evacuating some of these passengers. So, um, come with me. There may be a small disaster occurring. So, let's start getting some people into some boats. So, there we go. Here we are. Please, get into the boat. Everything is okay. Don't worry. Let's go get some other people. I gotta check all of these cabins as well. Here we go. Oh, hello, sir. You're gonna need to come with me. Oh, there's a lot of water in here. All right, everyone needs to leave immediately. All right, let's go. If you follow me, everything will be okay. I gotta shut that door as well. So, um, let's just go up the stairs. Just this way. Nice and easy. Oh, that is bad. We are sinking very quick. Okay. Let's start getting some people into these boats. Alright, I'm just going to lower this boat. There we go. You know what? Just release it. It's fine. Okay. Let's go over to this side. In an orderly fashion, please, everyone in the boat. There we go. Lower it down. Alright, that's good enough. There we are. Okay. Let's uh, get this one lowered down and grab some more people and bring them up on deck. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to shut that. That's not good. I got to go close that door forward as well. All right. Well, looks like the water has actually moved forward, which actually is not good. And I'll tell you why as I attempt to close this door. There we go. The reason why that's bad is because the ship is tilting forward more. And when that happens... It's sort of like a domino effect because all of the water sloshes forward and it sort of just makes it worse. Not sure how the physics work in Stormworks, but from what I know... Oh gosh, this is not good. Folks, I am going to die. This is the end. All right, I'm just going to have to go. Just going to have to swim. There we go. People are going to go down with the ship. This is it. This is the final plunge. All right, quick, get into the boat. Wow, okay, so that was not good. That went down very quick. Oh my gosh, and it is gone. Wow. So last time I played on Stormworks, I had a pretty successful evacuation. You can find that video in the top right corner, but not in all cases is that going to happen. Now, this is a really cool build, so I will leave a download link in the description as always. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.